So today I'm going to share with you the golf lesson that I had some 20 years ago, but I still class this as the most important golf lesson I ever had and the one that helped my game the most. Now, considering some of the youngsters we see playing golf at the moment, I started my golf relatively late. I was around about 13 years old before I really got interested in golf and, and picked up a golf club. A couple of years later, um, I had a golf lesson which really, really stuck in my mind. And, and still to this day, I would class this as the most important golf lesson uh, I've ever had. It's the one that really changed my idea of how a golf thing works and really helped me progress my game. Now, admittedly, this lesson, which I'm going to share with you today, might be targeted more at the newer golfer, or the beginner golfer, or the higher handicap golfer, but there's bound to be some information in here which can help you if you feel like you don't fall into that category and you are potentially a little bit further on in your golfing career. So what is this lesson and, and how did it help me? Well, the lesson I got told, or the, the concept I got told was, in the game of golf, there are no straight lines. And that was really important because up until this point, I'd never really considered that, I'd never really thought of that. And as we progressed through the lesson, it became very clear that I was trying to do something which was really holding me back. So what do we mean by there's, there's no straight lines? Well, first of all, if we were to take the club face, um, and if I was to take my address to this golf ball and point the club face at the target that you can see at the net there. If I was to open up my trail hand on the golf club, we could pretty much say that my trail hand is gonna point, or the palm of my hand, is gonna point pretty much wherever the club face points. If I point the club face down, my palm face is down, to the right, my palm face to the right, and so on. So if we take a look at a, a little golf swing here, I'm not gonna do a full golf swing, but my palm faces that target. Now as I start to rotate and move back, you'll notice that my palm no longer faces the target, it faces somewhere out over in that direction. Now, obviously we would have a much longer swing than that, but if I was to go through and rotate back, there will be a point where my palm is back facing that target. But as I continue through, again, it's no longer pointing at the target, it's now pointing somewhere over here. So the golf club points in every direction possible through the golf swing. It is never pointing in a straight line, therefore there are no straight lines in the club face. So what about if we look at the direction that the club head is traveling in? Well, if we look at the golf club head and trace its movement, relative to the golf ball, it moves significantly inwards. You notice it's moved inwards from the golf ball. And again, if I continue that, it's moving more inwards. And then if I deliver it back to the golf ball and then through, it's moving inwards again. So my golf club is never ever traveling in a straight line. It's certainly not traveling toward my target for an extended period of time. And it's certainly not traveling to the right of my target, which many golfers are trying to do. And at that stage, that is exactly what I was trying to do. So what we established in that lesson was that I was probably 16, 17 years old and I was desperate to hit a right to left shot. I was that typical new golfer hitting everything out to the right, would love to see that golf ball draw. And what I was really trying to do is I was actually feeling like if the ball was going to the right, the club face was open and I needed to swing to the right. Those were my feelings. I needed to control the face and swing to the right. So I was actually trying to keep the golf club pointing at my target, which we've already established isn't correct. And then I was trying to swing the golf club out to the right of the target in this direction here. Now, if I tried to do that now, it would feel incredibly uncomfortable. But back then as a 16 something year old golfer, it felt like it was the right thing. So I was completely closing the club face and I was trying to swing the golf club massively out to the right of the target. So why does the golf club move on this arc? Well, it's because it's connected to my, my body. Because as my body turns, where does the club head go? The club head goes round to the left. So as I was trying to swing the club to the right of the target, hit that draw, I was stopping all of my body rotation to enable me to do that. So I had a very, very restricted body turn. I had a club face which was really out of position on the way back and I had a golf club which was trying to swing out to the right. Fair to say I wasn't a particularly good golfer. So what was the what was the drill that I got prescribed and, and this is a great one for you if you feel that like you fall into that category. I'm going to pop the ball onto this slightly longer grass to make it a little bit easier for me to demonstrate this. But we had a fairly short iron, I can't remember what club it was, I've got an eight iron here. And as my address 
the first thing we did was we took my trail hand and I kept it against the side of the golf club and opened it up. And the goal was to feel like that palm rotated on the way back and rotated on the way through. Now, we weren't specific in where that hand had to point. It just had to not feel like it pointed at that target throughout that motion. So as you can see, as I rotate back, it points over here. And as I rotate through, it points somewhere over here. And this was our first little exercise to feel that like that club rotated fairly naturally around my body. And you can see where that palm is facing there. Now, these were not easy to do back when I was 16 years old and not a particularly good golfer. So if you're not hitting great shots doing this, that's fine. It's concept, it's trying to build these feels. So this is a great little starting point. You can feel that palm faces the target. It rotates and it rotates. And what you'll notice is that even though my palm is rotating quite a lot, both those shots have hit the target. So I know that my club face was square at impact. And even though these balls are gonna go 20, 30 yards, we can still monitor direction. And if that direction isn't straight, it's to the right or to the left, I don't necessarily want to intentionally do anything different. I just want to work that small movement until I can find the right timing to make the ball go straight because timing is massively important. What we've said is that club face is always opening and closing. My job in the golf swing is to catch the golf ball right at the point where the club face is pointing where I want the ball to go. That's important. A little bit too late, it's gonna go left. A little bit too early, it's going to go right. So there's a second part to this drill as well, which we're gonna set up now and go through what that was. Now, if I recall, we had two golf clubs on the ground. I've got two alignment sticks here. Obviously, that either would work well. I'm just gonna move that on a little bit forward. So this was the second phase to that little drill. And what we had is we had these alignment sticks, give or take, middle of my feet and we had that palm open. And the goal was here, as I made my backswing, not only did I want my palm to rotate, I wanted the club shaft to pretty much be on top of this one going back. And then on the way through, I wanted it to be pretty much on top of this one on the way through. I appreciate that's a little bit more difficult for you to see. So let me demonstrate that one. So we can see that palm is gonna rotate. And again, the ball is collected and it still goes straight. Now, in terms of that backswing move, this is probably where I see more new golfers or more beginner golfers starting to become a little bit unstuck. They sometimes have the belief and sometimes it's subconscious that if they want the ball to go straight, they need to take the club head straight back from the ball. And you can see how that probably looks a little bit more uncomfortable and it certainly doesn't look correct. So that little exercise again, palm off, we rotate to match and we rotate on the way through to match. And again, I'm hitting that center target every single time because my timing is good. So all of these swings I've done are, are kind of no more than waist high. But as a 16 year old junior golfer, I was learning lots. My concepts were changing. It was almost like a light bulb moment for me to realize how the golf club moved around my body. The direction of the club head was never constant. Where the club face was pointing was never constant. I think at that point I realized this was a difficult game. What had I let myself in for? But as I started to do these little drills and I felt like there was very little control of the club face. It felt like it was whipping open and closed. As we just demonstrated here, those golf balls were going straight. And I say, this was a really, really important lesson for me. Uh, and one that I feel helped me tremendously in that, that period of my golf where I was really trying to find my golf swing, really trying to get the concepts clear in my head and really trying to sort of forge my pathway in the game. And, and sort of um, ultimately I did, you know, progress quite nicely and got to a decent level. So I hope that helps. I say it might be one that applies more to the beginner golfer or the new golfer, but some important topics in there. Uh, I mean, some important concepts, which I think can help a lot of golfers. Um, even the best golfers sometimes have the poor concepts and have the wrong ideas. Obviously at some point I did scale this up into full swings. But yeah, hope that helps. Let me know in the comments box. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate your views. Whilst you're down there, hit the like button and also the subscribe button as well. I would love you to be part of my channel and my community. I really believe these videos can help you play some of the best golf you've ever played. Thanks for watching.